property or you put a stitch, uh, you can put a staple, whatever you want. What I do is I draw a circumferential line all the way around so when I'm dissecting, I know when, it, when to slow down. The next thing you need to do is measure your defect, okay? When we measure our defect, remember, all this skin has something called hysteresis, right? It'll stretch, but it'll also recoil. So you need to make your flaps slightly bigger. You don't want to inset them tight. So what you need to do is you need to, we want to save as many perforators as you can. So in this example, you have this one and this one, okay? Definitely want to save this one. We'll run it off this one if we can, okay? So what we have to do is we have to measure how long our design is and how wide, okay? We're going to show you taking a skin over the panel, over the, uh, the panel today. So basically you just measure. These things curve down, so you just use a couple of finger breaths to accommodate for the curve, and you measure, okay? And you just bring it up, okay? That's a little long for that, okay? So we'll kind of bring it down to about here. And that's just experience, okay? You measure here, so it comes up eh, to about there. So we'll do it a little longer, okay? Now, here's the popliteal fossa. It's been described that you, a reverse sural, well, you can only go within two centimeters of the popliteal crease, and that's it. You might be able to get more if you delay it substantially. Okay, so what I do, the first thing is measure, design, I need to get my width. It's a very easy dissection. You can start wherever you choose to. I choose to start here on the medial side. I come down, all right? This is all free lunch, so to speak, okay? You wanna get down to the fascia, okay? Here's your fascial layer, okay? You wanna be right here, okay? The fascia, you wanna be looking at it and you want the gastrocnemius muscle down, okay? I come up here, I do the top. I come in, I look for the short saphenous vein in case I need it to supercharge it later or exteriorize it. If I see it, I see it. Now this is a flap where you can, by design, you're going to have to sacrifice the what nerve? What? Serral? Yes, that a boy. The serral. Okay? When you're doing a reverse perineus brevis, it's easy to tease off the nerve usually. And if you sacrifice it, you're going to get lost of sensation. Okay? So a tiny little thing there, okay? So what you want to do, you just want to be in that plane. Think of this fascia cutaneous flaps as a pancake. All the good stuff, the blood supply, is between the two layers of the pancake, all right? You don't want the blueberries falling out. You don't want it to delaminate. So here's our plane. See this areolar plane right here? This is your plane of dissection right here, okay? If you take, if a little bit of the, this is a perforator to the skin right here, and this is a good example. See this perforator? This is coming off the medial serial artery. So if we were to dissect this back, we would dissect it back to a very large vessel, okay? Now this vessel here is the basis for taking skin with a gastrocnemius flap, okay? So if we were to dissect this up into here, we get back to a reasonable sized vessel. So I was just talking to a buddy of mine who's the chief up at Temple, and he's had like the past six out of six have been, air, uh, he's whiffed on getting the uh, medial serial perforator. So just let me do this. I'm right, gonna take that, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Anyway, you just wanna come through this areolar plane. You can come through with scissors, bipolar, whatever you want, okay? So, this flap is best in thin patients, okay? Come over here. Now notice we wanna keep this at no less than two centimeters. Now the orientation of this has to capture the perforators. If you come this way and you exclude your perforators, you run the risk of injuring them, and the flap dying. More importantly, if you, uh, don't capture the vein or as many veins as possible, that's a problem. And when you're dissecting out flaps, 
can you draw to like a wedge like this?